Hello, dear friends. In this uh, video, I am going to show you how to create menu for your website. So this is my website. Let me show you. So this is my website. And right now, I have not created any menu for here. Menu appears here. Let me show you my another website. So this is something called menu, whatever it appears on the top. These are the links where we can click and we can check the courses, check the blog, check the about section, check the webinars, whatever. So the same thing we can do on this website and how to do it. There are multiple ways on WordPress to do it. But so the most formal way is go to appearance. Okay. Then you have themes editor. So unfortunately, the option is not here. Normally, it is here. Let me refresh. That's the kind of joke. Okay. So normally, it is here, but it is not here. This is really a joke. Let me see which theme I am using. Okay. So I am using 2024. Let me add a theme. These default themes are really, you know, Tons of knowledge is required for them. So let me use this theme called Astra. Whatever theme, like whatever theme you can like. Let me choose Zenit Press. Okay, so Zenit Press theme, Astra theme, whatever theme you want to choose, you can choose. Okay. Not a problem. And I hope you are able to understand my English. That is very normal. <laughs> Not actually normal. So I am from India, so you can understand why I am saying this, that anyone from any corner of the world can watch this video, right? So now the theme is changed and the settings you can see under appearance are themes, customize, widgets, menus. So click on menus. This is how we create the menu. Okay, so click on menus. So here what we can do is we can create our first menu. So the first menu is primary. So this is primary menu. Okay. So display location, primary menu, create menu. Now we have created the menu. Okay. So the menu is created, but we have to add. What do we have to add? We can add the links here. Okay. So we can add the posts. We can add the categories. We can add the custom link. So I can add the custom link, whatever link you want, you can add, but let me add some custom links, HTTPS, www.sunilitams.com. Okay. Uh, so I can say, learn the digital marketing, learn the digital marketing. So this is the first link I have added here. So this link is appearing. Let me click it. Let me click on save menu. Okay. So I am showing you step by step. Now let me refresh the website. Because the theme is changed, many items is added. You can see, learn digital marketing. Okay. You can see, learn digital marketing. Okay. Now let me go ahead and add another link here. Uh, become a digital coach. Become a digital coach. Okay. So here I would like to add another link, HTTPS and uh, digital coach dot sunildams.com this is another link okay now i can say learn seo so here i can say https and seo sunil.com okay now let me click on save and let me show you the menu how it appears now let me refresh the website Now you can see there are three items. Now what else I can do is I can I can add more links from categories. I can add blog. I can take it here from pages. I can add if there are any pages, if there are any posts I want to add, like importance of dictionary I want to add. Okay, I can add. And um, if I want to add anything else right here, as HTTPS and tada dictionary.com so whatever link you want to 
uh, add, you can add dictionary. Okay. So this is the link I have added, dictionary. But this post I want under the dictionary. And I want to I want to customize it. So I don't want to have this much text here. So importance of dictionary. Okay. So click on save. <clears throat> so this is how you can understand this menu. This is very easy. Click on save. Okay. Now this part, this importance of dictionary is the sub part of dictionary. So dictionary will be there. And when we will take the mouse on dictionary, this this sub sub item will also appear there. Let me go there and refresh. Yeah, you can see the dictionary is there. When I am taking my mouse there, that is called hovering my mouse. This another item is appearing. Okay, so this is how. What you can do, you can have multiple multiple menus on your website. Okay, so. Let me show you that also. Edit menus. Okay, here you can see a blue blue option. Create a new menu. So this is a menu I can create for footer. Okay, so this is the menu for footer. Okay, so let me create the menu, footer menu. What I can do in footer menu is HTTPS. Uh, so neiltams.com so i'm just adding for testing purposes so one item is privacy policy privacy for footer one item is like uh, terms 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 and conditions another item is uh, another item is uh, refund policy sometimes sometimes refund policy okay this is wrong here I should write refund. Okay, so that's it. Now I can say whatever you want to add, whatever you want to add. All right. So here you can say become like what to say. Shipping. So the, these are the items I want to have in footer. So this is the footer menu. Click on save. Okay, click on save. Now, I have two menus. So, manage locations. Manage locations. So, now primary menu, I can choose footer menu also. That is the name only. For primary menu, I can choose the footer menu also. But that doesn't make any sense. But I am just showing you the things you can play around with the menu. Now, you can see privacy, terms, refund, shipping. But doesn't make any sense. So, I am going to change it. Save changes. Okay. Now, let's go back and refresh. Something is wrong. Let me refresh here. Something is really wrong. Okay. Whatever. Let me open the website again. So, let me save changes. Let me refresh. So what we have to do is we have to parse the cache. Here you can see the old menu comes. Now what we want, we want the footer menu in the footer. This is this part is called footer, the bottom, bottom of the website. So let me click on customize. Okay, let me click on customize. Go to the widgets then there would be a widget called footer, footer1, okay. Here I can uh, click on got it, here I can add menu, so navigation menu I can add and the footer menu I can add, okay. Publish. Now you can see privacy terms, refund, shipping. So this is how you manage the menu thing on your website and you can create multiple menus. Here you can create another menu. Here you can create another menu, right? So in the one widget you have added this, another widget you can add something else. Not, not necessarily menu, you can do this thing by creating hyperlinks also in the footer section. But for the header section, you need to create menu, okay? 
So for header section, menu is mandatory. In the footer section, you can play around with uh, by creating hyperlinks also. So I hope uh, I have been able to explain this menu part to you. Please go ahead and enjoy and create a mind-blowing menu for your website. I can give you one, one bonus tip. One bonus tip I can give you. Okay. So what I'm going to do is in the menus. Okay. In the menus, what I can do is in the primary menu, what I'm going to do is I can say, <clears throat> okay. I can say, mm, uh, promote with us, promote with us. Ye, ye, this button you can put on your website, promote with us, or you can say promote here. Or you can say advertise here, advertise, advertise. And here you can put your link or you can put your WhatsApp link. For example, I am putting my WhatsApp link. Okay, so advertise, uh, you can put advertise here and this option will appear here uh, in the footer. Obviously, one minute, let me change it. Something is wrong. So navigation label is here, advertise here. And here we have to put advertise. Okay. So if you want to write advertise, you can write advertise. You can write uh, get backlink. You can write promote with us. So whatever you want to write, you can write your choice. Okay. So, okay. That depends. Advertise, advertise here. Something like that. So, you know, this is additional source of income and you can also add one more item, one more item. Let me show you. These are the tricks to make more money, to get more traffic on your website. These are the tricks. Okay. So here you can say, write for us, write for us. So, so many people in the world are looking for the websites where they can write and make money. So you are not uh, directly going to give them, um, give them you are not directly going to give them money, but it's still like, um, still you can, you know, when people are trying to search this kind of websites, they can, they can actually find you. They can actually find you. So these two buttons uh, we have put on our website, it means uh, more and more people will be able to find our website. So these are the two tricks, a bonus trick I, I have told you. So go ahead and... Uh, uh, create a fantastic, useful money-making menu for your website. Thank you very much. Have a nice time.